Liam, it's uh, a big point, I would imagine, today. How did you assess the game? Really good performance against a top team. Uh, felt we dominated in our way. We played our way. We dominated the possession. We dominated in sh terms of shots on target. Um, but, but for switching off, uh, which we've done too many times, we come away with three, three well-deserved points. So, yeah, a lot of pleasing aspects. So proud of the bravery of the players. So proud of their commitment. So proud of their bravery to take the ball in areas that they've probably not been asked to do before. But hopefully everybody sees the process again and why we do things the way we do and why I have to accept mistakes. I have to accept mistakes at the moment because the only way you learn really is the pain of the, your mistakes. Now, I felt there was a there was a more of a cutting edge when we got into the final third. There was more of a, a desire to score and, and, and not just control the game in terms of our attacking moments, which is good. So there were aspects we learned from Tuesday. Uh, but when you play against top teams, you cannot afford to switch off. And unfortunately, we did on a throw-in, and we did after we scored. And, and Jamie Vardy's done what he's done for years and punished us. But now, you know, learn from Tuesday, more of a cutting edge, more of a threat. Learn from this one in the next nine games, manage moments better and be switched on. We're on to a, I think we're on to a really good thing. Nice to see Zaruri getting back amongst the goal as well with a nice finish. Fantastic goal. That's why we brought him in. Top, but not just that. His work rate, his pressing, his, his intelligence, his ability to take the ball in areas. I think he's going to get better and better. And we've got to give these... We keep saying it. They're not... They, we're not magicians. Like It takes time to adapt and acclimatise and get used to a new environment, a new culture, a different way of playing. Um, but Anas is a top player at this level and he showed that in the goal today couple of moments in the game which I assume you've been asked by other people the two penalties um, mixed reviews for both of them what did you make of the pair I thought they were both penalties I okay. thought they were both penalties when I saw our, our one um, <clears throat> the challenge starts outside the box but it ends with him making contact either on the line or in the box so I can see why that's given um, Fabio shows unbelievable mentality to miss that get pick himself up and go and score yeah. which was a harder finish and then in terms of us I'm disappointed because it comes from a cheap throw in you know, the lad picks up the ball, we're not switched on, it gets the wrong side of Mika, and once you get the wrong side of the defending player, then it's all you can always see why it's been given. So I've got no complaints in terms of those two decisions. OK. Um, Leicester and their manager at one point in, in the second half were uh, remonstrating where Seri was positioned yeah. when the ball was kicked against him and they felt that was worthy of a second yellow card. Did you share the same opinion as them? I, I, genu I genuinely haven't seen the incident. Okay. I've been told about the incident. I've been told that the reason Mika wasn't um, got the second yellow was he actually wasn't moving towards the ball. I haven't seen it. So so there you go. So again, the right decision. But Fletch, I don't really want to talk about refereeing decisions. I'm so okay. proud. So proud of everyone today. I felt the atmosphere was incredible. I felt the fans that stayed behind can, got behind the team. There was a real energy in the stadium and it felt like it felt like when I was playing it. It felt like when I was playing it, we had something really to fight for when we got promoted to the Premier League. We had something to fight for when we were in the Premier League. And to see a sellout crowd, to see us score goals in front of them and play for 99% of the game really, really well. Um, yeah, that's why that's why I'm back here and that's why I want to bring more of. And it's all down to the hard work, not just of yourselves as coaching staff, but everything that's going on behind the scenes everyone, too. Everyone involved with the club um, is contributing to our progress. There, there is no doubt that we've progressed. There is no way that a year ago we would have gone toe-to-toe to toe with Leicester. We could have sat back and nicked a point or, you know, score from a set play. We went toe-to-toe toe with them today in our way, in our identity as a football club and what we're trying to do. And that, that fills me with a lot of pride. But at the same time, I don't want to end the season with a pat on the back for that. I, I really believe in this group. And every game we play, elements of Birmingham on Tuesday, I know we didn't win the game there. Elements definitely of today fill me with so much confidence that we can still have a really really good season well you're showing that numerically because i think i've got it at eight points from 15 against the three sides that came down last season so that mm. is a great achievement yeah well i it's still work obviously that you want to do of course i expect it and um, if we you know we're challenging for the playoffs and we're we are now seventh on goal difference it doesn't matter now you just got to keep performing and stay calm you know so for me if we keep performing at this consistent level, and like I've said so many times, 37 games, it's been one team that have outplayed us this season in 37 games. The rest have been fine margins, decisions, not taking chances. If in the in the key part of the season, that's when the things happen and that's when you need to peak. And I've got every confidence that we'll do that. And just out of fans' curiosity, no substitutions. Yeah. Is that with an eye forward, obviously with the break as well, no, you're recharging no, batteries, or was it just the adrenaline, of course, of the game itself? Over the game, I felt we were on to such a good performance. Um, I said this to the to the subs after the game. It wasn't a lack of trust in them, but sometimes you make a substitute and can change the flow of the game in your favour, but it can change the flow against you as well. I felt up until the last two minutes when they're pushing and get set pieces, we're the better team. 
We were the better team. We looked like we were all coming on to a good game. The lads' fitness levels was top. I thought Regan Slater was absolutely magnificent today. Uh, on Dewsbury Hall, he was an outstanding player. Um, I didn't feel the need to change because we had the control and dominance that I thought would get us the third goal. 